Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Struggle Streaming with BK. And in today's video, I got a, another fragrance review for y'all today, everybody. And today's fragrance we're gonna do is one of Bond Number no. 9's Beach Scents. And that fragrance is Bond Number no. 9's The Hamptons. And that review is coming up next after the intro. Y'all know what time it is. I'll see y'all in about 10 seconds. Let's get it. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Struggle streaming with BK. How everybody doing out there? Um, before we get started, all right, y'all know what time it is. I gotta get my bag on before we start. All right. Y'all know we're trying to get to a billion subscribers. And we getting we inching that that we like that close, y'all, that close to a billion subscribers. But <laughs> we inching our way there. Hey, how everybody doing? Um, we're gonna take our five seconds out. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell icon. Um, I post videos every week, so the bell icon will let you know when I post. But are y'all ready? Come on, let's take that five seconds. All right. Boom. All right, y'all, let's get this thing cracking. All right, today's fragrance from the house of bond number nine is bond number nine. The Hamptons. All right. I like that bottle with that white neck. The Hamptons. Um, this is uh one up comes from Bond Number no. Nine's Beach Scent line, where they had the the Liberty Island, the Jones Beach. Um, we had the Hamptons, Sag Harbor, Coney Island. What am I missing? I don't know. I'm missing my oh Shutter Island, uh, Shelter uh, Shelter Island too. All right, hey, that's my favorite beach scent. But uh, it comes from the Beach Scent line with Devon um, introduced. Um, it's supposed to it's supposed to play off the Hamptons, and y'all already know that's that's where the ballers be. That's where the ballers be out in the Hamptons. That's where you go when you got your twenty two story, with your twenty two bedroom mansion and all that bull crap. That's what this is supposed to be. <laughs> A correlation of, but um. I'll start this off with a story time, right? Um, Y'all know I'm working on my um, round number nine, um, you know, my um, five summer bangers. And the Hamptons was actually, it was going to be in my honorable mention, right? Because it got cut. It, it came in number six this year on my summer banger. And I just felt bad that it wasn't going to be on the list. So I was like, you know what? I might as well do a review on it. Um, So I've been wearing it for like the last four or five days, stuff like that, you know, getting, getting back, um, associated, familiar with it. Cause I don't wear this that much, mainly in the summer. And I mainly wear it because women like to smell it. Right. But I will say over the last probably like four or five days, this thing has kind of grown on me. Right. And what really made me wear it well, what really made me try it out, um, start wearing it is again, is when I went to CD, um, I had, you know, I got the, um, the trial of the bonbons too that I have, and I probably got like six or seven of them and I keep them in my bag when I travel and stuff like that. And I had the Hamptons one was already full and it cracked. It cracked somewhere in airport, probably TSA slamming my bag around. But my bonbon cracked and inside the bag when I cracked it up, but it smelled good in the mud. <laughs> people who follow the people who follow the channel know that I'm not too well, I wasn't too fond of this. And I don't want to say I didn't like it, but it wasn't my it wasn't in the top of the list. And my bond number nine top sense, I think this finished number forty eight. If I redid that today, it'd definitely be in thirty somewhere. Like uh, you know, it is the last couple of days. But when I cracked my bag open, I was mad about it being broke. Like, two of them cracked. But, um, like, this one was leaking out. The other one just had a crack in the um in the valve. But this one was leaking out everywhere and stuff like that. And my bag smelled awesome. <laughs> so, that's what made me, like, start wearing it. All right? You know, just, all right, I'm, 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 I'm going to give this a second try. And when I did my list for my summer bangers, it's coming out soon. 
But uh, I did my list for my summer bangers and like this finished six. So I decided to do a review. All right, I'm done with story time, y'all. Let's get to these. Um, let's get to this fragrance. Um, y'all already know I sprayed this on probably about four hours ago. Um, I love this nice little. It's nice little opening. I wasn't fond of the opening because of the bitterness of the lime. But. It's kind of growing on me, right? It used to be sour, have a, a sour, sweet smell. Um, you got that citrusy, op the citrusness. That ain't even, I'm saying it anyway, the citrusy <laughs> opening with the bergamot and the lime. And it was like a sweet, bitter, feminine type fragrance to me. Like when when I used to wear it in the past. But I don't know if it's because I've been rocking it every day for the last few days. That it's kind of grown on me, even the opening. Like I've always loved the dry down. But that opening and that, that, bitter, that bitter, sweet, feminine smell to me. You know, last like the first four hours of the freight, three, four hours with this fragrance. It lasts that long. But the bitterness, it still stinks. But uh, <laughs> not stink. let me not say stink. It's still a, a bit a bitterness to it when you open it. And that's definitely the line. But um, it's still there. And I'm not, I don't love it. I don't even like it. Right? Of course I don't love it. I don't like it. But the dry down with this is so awesome. Right? You just gotta get through that first couple hours when it's like really, really strong. Like if when I smell this hand, the one that's been on a few hours, and I smell the opening, it don't even smell like the same fragrance. This is strong. And bitter, this is like smooth and aquatic. Just a, a just a, just a nice aquatic fragrance. Like I don't want to say this because you know what? Um, for my old school people, who listen, y'all know how cool water just got that that fresh aquatic smell. Now this doesn't smell like cool water, but y'all, if if you wear if you wore cool water back in the day, you know what I'm talking about. It's just that freshness to it. That's what the Hampton smell like after the dry down, and that that, that dry down is so nice with the Hamptons. The bitterness in the opening. But anyway, <laughs> I get an open. Hey, this dry down. Is a nine out of a ten, right? Did this this opening is a one point five? <laughs> but I've seen other reviewers online who talk about this, and they most people love this fragrance, right? Like, I want to be. I don't want to say that. I don't want to be too negative. Like, I like this fragrance. It's just the, the bitterness. It's like I don't know. Maybe it's the the magnolia. I, Anyway, I ain't even do the notes. In here, we got some, we got some musk, we got some amber, we got some bergamot, lime, magnolia. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? There's some jasmine in here and some sandalwood. I'm probably forgetting some other stuff, y'all. But the main, the superstar note in this is the opening is that lime. Right? It's like a tart. It, it reminds me of Riverside Drive. Not, not not the cool, not the dry down, but the opening. That 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 sourness, like that sourness you get from Riverside Drive, it reminds me of that. Now, if you if you love the opening of Riverside Drive, you might dig this. Right? If you into lime fragrances, you definitely will dig this because you get the you you enjoy the lime and you enjoy the dry down. All right, now um, as far as project, uh, as far as projection, projection monster, definitely a projection monster on this. Right, you get a nice sillage. The projection is nice. Like like people walk by your cubicle, they gonna smell you, right? Especially at the dry down. Spray it, spray it on a few hours before you go to work. But they definitely gonna smell you, right? This is longevity. 
longevity, easily 10, 12 hours with this. I get 10, 12 hours. I don't have no problem. This is one of what well, most bonds give you longevity, like a mug. And that's why I love bond. I need to do a while I love bond video. But that's why I love bond. But the longevity easily give me 10, 12 hours. And the majority of that time, I get to enjoy the fragrance. Because I enjoy the dry down to this so much. Not so much to open it for the umpteen time. <laughs> but um, what I would wear this for. I would use this for, um, I don't even want to say date night. But I mean like Netflix and chill type of fragrance, right? If you have a company over, you're going to be next to your girl or... A potential future girl like this is a fragrance i would say i would wear because plus once again you want to put this on earlier but women like this fragrance they like the smell smell of this this is one of the ones that you wear for me personally this is a fragrance that i wear for to attract women not for myself right you got some fragrances like um centerpiece well, women like that too. But Centerpiece, I wear for myself. Um, uh, New York Oud, I wear for myself. Women love that too. Um, but you have other fragrances like Wall Street that I enjoy that women love way more than men. So this is one of those fragrances that I think that women love more than men. It's billed as unisex. I can see a woman, a woman wearing this. This is one of those real unisex fragrances, like 50-50 female to masculine. This ain't nothing that you're going to take in front of the homies. You know, you're trying to uh, impress the homies, right? This ain't that. Oh, where, hey, what you got on, dog? No, nah, this ain't one of them. This is more, this is a, one of those fresh aquatic fragrances that women tend to enjoy. All right. Um, overall, I like this fragrance. <laughs> I like both bond number nine, as y'all know. But this this has grown on me. Over the last few days that I'm going to start, I'm definitely going to have this in the rotation for this summer. Like, I'm definitely going to be rocking this, you know, maybe once a week or something like that um, this summer. Last summer, the summer before that, like, I done had this bottle. You can see, well, y'all can see, can y'all see where it's at? Let me move this so you can see where it's way from. Right, I'm a little bit above half. And I've had this fragrance since probably 2017, 2017, 2018, something like that. And I've had this fragrance that long, and I still got more than a half a bottle left. So this ain't been nothing that I just been rocking, you know, that I rock normally, like every once in a while or something like that. But it's kind of grown on me. Nope, still limey. But it's kind of grown on me in the last, you know, four or five days since I've been trying it out. Like I've been going down to the river walk, uh, doing my jogging. I've been wearing it down there. Um... When I went to uh, Capers the other day, I had this on, all right? Um, I had a woman in, when I was in the line tell me that I smelled good. I'm like, thank you, ma'am. So, um, yeah, this is one of those fragrances that I think that women love more than men. I like it. If I did my Bond number 9 top sense list, I think it would jump up at least into the late 30s, right? Like, at the, it's, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You had a fragrance you didn't like. And then, like, years later, you, you started to like it. Or something that you used to like, but then now you don't like it no more. But uh, <laughs> that's what I think about uh, bar number nine in the Hamptons. Um, it's a quick one today, y'all. Um, that's all I got for y'all. Remember, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Right? I drop videos daily. My summer banger should be coming out Saturday. Right, I'm having a little issue with my little software editing and stuff. I done lost all my stuff, I believe, and I would be sick. I can't put my little things in my video. <laughs> but anyway, um, hey, y'all have a good one. Be safe out there. I appreciate you taking the time checking out my video. Um, questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. I try to answer all the comments that I see. Sometimes I miss them, and I apologize for that. Right. Um, I'll see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace.